Okay, well here we are this morning at the, uh, the Lee Valley Whitewater Course. Uh, what a fantastic facility it is. Uh, very pleased that our athletes and coaches are operating here at the moment, uh, ahead of the course opening to the, the general public in, in April. Um, it's a big year for us, both in canoe slalom and also in, uh, in canoe sprint. It's Olympic qualification year, uh, which we're really looking forward to. You know, so we've got our um, domestic selections for sprint in April up at Nottingham um, and the slalom selection here at Lee Valley end of April, beginning of May. Um, and we'll go forward into the World Cup series um, and then the World Championships itself. So for sprint, the World Championships is in Zegen in Hungary in August and in canoe slalom, it's uh, Bratislava in, uh, in Slovakia in September. So there's, a, there's a, a lot coming up this year for the athletes and coaches and uh, we're really looking forward to it. For our, our senior canoe slalom squad, so that's the senior Olympic programme, uh, we took, a, a, I think, a, an incredibly big decision last year um, to move our senior programme from Nottingham, and we've been there effectively since 1987, uh, to here at Lee Valley. Um, absolutely the right decision to make to be on this water and training um, and you know our senior athletes themselves um, decided that was the right thing for them so the coaches and support staff have moved moved their families and the athletes themselves um, have pretty much all moved sort of sold houses in Nottingham and moved into this area so it's a massive commitment on their part and it just shows how serious they are um, about 2012. Today everyone's uh, back at base for the first time in, in a while. Uh, the little building behind me here is um, a new performance centre and we actually only had received the keys to this building this morning. We're about uh, 50 metres from the entrance of the uh, Olympic slalom course um, and we've managed um, to uh, secure uh, this environment here um, for the next two years for our athletes and coaches. So our athletes are here at the moment, um, they're in really good shape. Obviously it's, uh, you know, it's still very early in the season um, with the main races sort of starting in sort of April, May time. Um, but everyone is fit and healthy. Um, on the front foot, I would suggest, is, is how I would describe it. And really looking forward to the season ahead. So in, in good shape. And sprint racing, our athletes have all uh, undertaken sort of warm weather training in Australia and again there really is a buzz around training incredibly well very very focused on, on, on the job um, you know looking in really good shape that, that's how I would sort of describe our athletes feet firmly on the ground though not getting ahead of ourselves there's a lot of work to be done um, there's a tough season ahead and Olympic qualification for anyone is a, is a major hurdle to overcome as, as I've sort of said, I believe that we're our athlete group that we have in both disciplines, an incredibly dedicated and talented bunch of athletes. I feel very, very fortunate that we have that group of athletes with us at the moment and supported by their coaches. Um, I think, you know, on our day, we have the ability to take on anyone in the world. There's the, the World Championships this year in Olympic qualification, uh, first round. Um, we've got the test events, looking forward to that. Uh, we've got the test event here at Lee Valley uh, in July. Um, and we, we look forward to welcoming the rest of the world to our new Olympic venue. Um, and we have a test event at Eton Dorney in September. And, and likewise, we, we haven't had too many um, international sprint competitions in the UK over the last few years. And I'm pretty sure that um, other international teams will want to come here and test these venues for themselves. So those are big milestones, you know, Olympic test events. Uh, that's not where you qualify your boats, but nonetheless, uh, important milestones in the road to 2012.